Hi guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 XBC video. It is Saturday at 6pm and EA have given us a Renato Sanchez XBC for Fort 17 and he is there for the next 20 days or 19 hours and or 19 days and 23 hours. And he looks exceptional. He's the S he's the first SPC that's been put there for the longest period of time. Obviously, Royce and, and I think the Vidal SPC were there for like two weeks. But none have been put up for as long as Renato Sanchez. And he has three segments to him. So, I'll have a look at his in-game stats in a second. Uh, what is he going to require? He's going to be expensive. 85 races. 86 of a team of the week. And I'm going to say this next one will be an 87. It will be an 87. We're pretty low chemistry, which is good. So, only one team of the week needed, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, and the chemistry not ridiculously high apart from the 85 one which is a, you know it's a little you might have to build basically into a Bundesliga team for that one but on the whole that doesn't seem too bad on paper and what's he being given a five star weak foot permanent upgrade what's his skill moves already four star skill moves, which is fantastic and this card's going to be insane I mean look at that that is already an end game card uh, his pace for a midfield is incredible. His shooting stats, I mean, 99 shot power and 91 long shots are absolutely fantastic. Um, his passing as well from midfield is absolutely brilliant. His dribbling as well is fan. You can literally play him anywhere. Cam, centre mid in a box to box role or a CDM. I myself, if I was going to do him, um, I, I would be playing him as a... As a box to box midfielder, his defensive stats are, are pretty nice. I mean, stats like is a little bit low, but not too bad. And his physicality stats are amazing as well. He's got some nice player traits. That card is end game. Uh, and obviously, there's a there's a decent chance he will get a team of the season card because he's been playing well for um for for Lil this season. Uh, he already has like one or two informs. He had that uh, UEFA Europa League road to the final card as well. But if you just have a look at you know box to box midfielders from League One. There are obviously like a few decent ones. I mean, you have, you know, um, you have you have Alvarez for birthday cards. You have Camavinga's future stars. And, and then Renato Sanchez. I mean, comparing him with Alvarez, Alvarez probably has, on the whole, in terms of comparing stats, Alvarez technically has a better card. Suited more for an advanced role um, than, than Renato Sanchez. Sanchez has a lot more physicality, not more defending, but has less dribbling, has less pace, has quite a bit less shooting and a little bit less passing as well. But this Renato Sanchez card plays ridiculously well in game. Even his AC4 card is still rated as one of the best midfielders in the game. So, so that's good. And I, I think, I mean, what's that going to come in? I'm not too sure what that, that price will come in at, but that is a really, really good card. And um, I think, to be honest, although he requires a lot to be able to complete, I think he's worth doing if you can fit him into team. Or if you, or if, if you just want the card, just go and do him because he's not going to play bad. He will play absolutely insane in game. And I think that's all we've been given today in terms of content. Literally, that one SBC. No new uh, upgrade packs, no new icons, no other flashback or player moments SBCs. It, it, it literally just seems to be focusing on on, on daily foot birthday SBCs for. Uh, for this promo and nothing for objectives either for today but uh, i will be back a little bit later as well with uh, a guide on how to do that spc for as cheap as possible but on the whole I i'm liking the spc do i see good value for money in him yes absolutely there is no way that that car plays bad at all and yes he will get a higher risk of card come team of the season like 92 or 93 rated but this 87 card even like towards the closing stages of this game will still play absolutely ridiculously amazing so i i personally think um even for what he requires only one team of the week as well i think he's better value for money than a lot of the icon spc so yes i do think he's worth it but anyway guys that will finish off this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later